Hey, preacher here. Um, been thinking about something today. Uh, thinking about waiting. You know, we pray for things and we wait. We ask God to do things and we wait. And we keep asking and we keep waiting. And so why do we have to wait? God told Jeremiah in chapter 33, he said, Call unto me, and I'll answer you. He said, I'll show you great and mighty things. He didn't tell Jeremiah to wait. And then we get to the book of Psalms, and it talks about waiting. It says, But those who wait upon the Lord, let me put my glasses on, I left my Bible at church, Sunday, and I got my old Bible out, and it's a little cramped, if you know what I mean. But those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. And so so we wait. We pray for things, and we ask God to do things, and we um, wait, and we expect Him to answer us. Jeremiah, God said, call unto me and I'll answer you. And so we wait for that answer. But how long should we wait? Should, do we just keep waiting on and waiting on and waiting on till God answers? Do we um, push the push it a little bit, try to hurry things up? And I got thinking about that today and we was canning beans and me, me and the old woman and um, don't get on the old woman thing with me because I love her and she's mine and she ain't yours and she knows I'm not saying old. She just always been the old woman to me. And we was canning beans and we got 18 pints. But I was done with the first cooker. And she said, you're just like your mom. Well, what I was doing was when it was done, you can them for so many pounds for so many minutes. And then you take it off and you let the pressure go down. And um, you, you got to wait. You got to wait. The jiggler's jiggling and, and don't touch it. You got to wait. And so I began to wait. And then. And my mom, would be, just like me, you try to get the pressure off of that pressure cooker. And so I'd stick a fork in there up under the jiggler and I've got it go where some of the pressure's coming off. And But you know what? If you ain't careful, if you don't wait, you can get burnt. Watch you are working on and don't wait on cannot turn out good as far as when you can stuff you gotta wait for it to seal and so I'm yanking these jars out just as quick as I can cause I got the jiggler off I, bet I got that jiggler off but if I, if, if I get in a big hurry, too big a hurry, my jars won't seal, and those beans will go bad. And so we pray and ask God to do things, and we, we want Him to do um, what, whatever it is. There, there's people we're praying for salvation. We put, there's those people that we're praying for that God save them, and um, uh, my niece just got saved a couple weeks ago and um, she's coming to church Sunday and I'm excited about that and um, she called me wondering what time church started and she wanted to know how long I preach and I'm like wow well, how long you preach what do you mean by uh, preachers always preach way too long and so anyway she's coming Sunday but I'm excited because somebody had to be praying for her because she just got saved Somebody had to be waiting until the right time
Here comes my wife pulling in the garage. We'll ask her about the old woman thing. Um, but in that period of time of waiting, God convicted, God drawed, God did what he needed to do that those that we were praying for come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. That's what we did. And what are you doing? I'm working on a thing here. You You're going to get on? I'm doing it right now. Yeah. yeah. Really? You don't have to wear a bra. You're on live right now. Okay, you don't have to wear a bra. You don't have to wear a bra. Or makeup. Or makeup. All you have to do is wear a face mask. You can wear your face pajamas. mask and pajamas. Now you can wear your pajamas. So what about the old woman thing? I just got an ugly stare. But that's okay. Did he make supper? Do you want to get on the screen here? No. Don't get too close. Random lots of jobs. I'm telling you. I got She'll get mad at me. Problem. She don't need to go to the dollar store. Gee whiz. They put a dollar store in her town and it's like dollar store here, dollar store there. So anyways, back to what we was talking about waiting. Don't get too close. You get on camera. Mm -hmm. You heard what we said. Mm -hmm. And so, but anyways, my niece is coming. And, and mm -hmm. I'm sure that Kevin, my brother, been praying for her. And she'd been going through some difficult times. And God's working on that. And so, straightening out that. Fixing that. Mm -hmm. So how long do we wait? A day? A week? A year? Mm -hmm. I had a nephew. My brother's son, I had a brother who got killed in a car wreck. And I went to rehab to see a relative of mine. Drug rehab. Drugs are wicked. I mean wicked. And he was there and I didn't know it and I seen him there and it's just like we began to talk and we hadn't talked for a long time. And so God allowed us to get this relationship, begin to build this relationship, begin to work in this relationship and I begin to pray for this young man's salvation and over a period of time I waited he got saved and I'm thinking shout hallelujah his life's just beginning and it's God so good and then one morning They find him not breathing, dead, dead. And so I did the funeral. I can't do this. I did the funeral. But I know where he's at. He got saved. And so we wait. There's a lot of things that we pray for, and we wait for, and we ask God to do, work, move, change, and we wait. I don't like to wait. But I think because of 
my position as pastor of a church, God's teaching me to wait. 